Hi everyone, my name is Alonso Solis Diarloni and I'm here again with a video about my Helsinki story. Yeah, I went to Helsinki last time uh, a couple of weeks ago and it was really fun, it was really great and I will tell you about this, so let's get started. The first thing we did was go on a ferry. It was actually a rainy day, uh, we didn't thought about that uh, when with my father, so we noticed the same day so we couldn't uh, postpone. So we went on the ferry and the ferry was actually huge. It was like a cruise, but everyone told us it was a ferry, so I didn't understand actually why was it that big and it had even stores, a casino, a bar. It was immense, but as we went early, everything was almost closed. We had like a cup of coffee, we took a look around the place. When we arrived to Helsinki, it was raining, so we actually got umbrellas, we were prepared. We went to the Helsinki wheel first because we said, yeah, it's the main attraction, it's really close to the station, so we went there. And it was kind of disappointing because it was raining, so we couldn't see many things from up there. And it wasn't actually the highest point in the whole trip. You're gonna see later where we were, and it was pretty high. Next to that, uh, we actually went to the Helsinki market. It was really close to the wheel, and we ate some salmon. It was one of the best salmon I, I've ever ate, so it was really great salmon. Really recommended. At that point, we were leaving Helsinki Market, and it started raining really hard. So actually, for one second, we thought it would stop raining, but uh, we went into a coffee, uh, into kind of a mini mall to wait. And after that, we went to the stone church, which was really beautiful. The architecture was great. We paid for the entrance, but it was worth it because it was really great architecture, really great environment overall. After that, we went to Sibelius Park. It had a really big metal monument and it was nice. And the best part of the trip, or one of the best parts of the trip, it was Lin and Mackey Roller Coaster Park. And you wouldn't believe it, but it's really, really close to being a tiny Disneyland. And why is it? The only difference between this park and Disney, in my belief at least, it was that it was not branded. So Disney is branded, it has all of these characters. Here it doesn't like that much. The main attraction was called Taiga and it was a really great roller coaster. It was super speed. If you went to like any of the Disney parks, you would know that the most speedful roller coasters are like Hulk or the Harry Potter Dragons and this was even faster. So I got really shocked about it. We went to many, many attractions and here was the highest point of them all. It was a huge tower where they drove you up and they let you go. It was like a free fall and I really, really enjoyed it a lot. After the latter, we actually went to two more cathedrals, the Helsinki Cathedral and the Uspensky Cathedral. And at the end, we returned on the ferry. We were really tired. Anyways, we went to the bar and we found some people from Estonia. We were getting back to Estonia. And first, uh, you know, they were there chatting and then they started to sing karaoke and we got like super shocked. We didn't you like in the middle of a ferry returning to Tallinn. There were actually people in the bar of the ferry singing songs really emotionally and they were really having fun and you know the whole ambience of the bar changed and it was amazing and well that's basically it we were completely amazed by the whole trip and it was a really nice experience so i do recommend everyone to go there uh, to visit if they can so thank you for